Hey, what's up guys? Michael here with Warp Drive M. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you the new flip car. Yeah, it's just a flip car because it doesn't have too much problems. We are going to fix everything in this episode and we are going to sell it. Yeah, now that the mini is gone, I'm gonna show you now the new project, uh, project, a uh, flip car, like I said. Yeah, check this out. This is a E92, yeah, uh, 325i. And this one does, like I said, doesn't have any kind of problems, but I'm going to show you what's wrong. And like I said, we are going to fix everything in this episode. So let's begin. This is the new flip car. Yeah, it's a three series coupe or coupe. Um, we have leather seats, uh, no... Uh, navigation uh, manual gearbox uh, i have to recheck the kilometer because i didn't uh, check um, i already removed the battery because this car has just one problem and we are going to fix it in this episode like i've said see that the cover is completely broken yeah it was leaking everywhere and uh, I wanted to replace just the gasket, but when I removed the cover, I've noticed that uh, it's leaking everywhere. I'm not sure if um, it's worth cleaning everything uh, in, to find out there is a crack or something like that. Maybe this valve is broken and I don't want to risk anything. So I've uh, ordered a new cover. We have the new cover in here. Yeah. We have the new valve in here, we have all the gaskets new, we just have to reinstall everything and pretty much that's about it. Um, everything is already uh, taken apart, the engine seems to be clean. I have uh, did notice that the PCV is a little bit, um, I'm not sure, this uh, yellow stuff, uh, maybe... Uh, I have to replace that as well, but it's just a flip car. We don't want to have any kind of leaks. We're going to check everything electronically and this will be put for sale. Um, yeah, I've uh, noticed a big crack in here on this gasket. See that? Yeah, it's completely broken and that's why we have all the oil in here. Of course, I've uh, uh, let the cover to drain from the oil because it was completely full of oil yeah but like I said there is a lot of oil and a lot of dirt in here so I I don't think it's worth saving this one and uh, the gaskets are uh, bad see that I wanted to remove the gaskets and uh, it's like it's brittle like plastic and uh, check the gasket out yeah nothing to save in here i've cleaned everything in here all the oil maybe when we st first start the car uh, it's going to smoke a little bit from the oil that is on the cats or stuff like that but that uh, shouldn't be any problem so let's uh, put the new cover and finish this car I'm not sure where the camera died. I've charged the camera, yeah, and uh, I managed to put everything um, back, but this was a nightmare, yeah, because this one, this cover was the cheapest one on the eBay. It was like 70 euros, but like I said, it was a nightmare to align the bolts with the holes because it was like, <laughs> I'm not sure twisted in, in some kind of way and I had to start from that side I put everything in there and um, after that this uh, bolts the last time and I he even had to replace two bolts because uh, the aluminium on the head was too big and it wasn't uh, uh, starting yet yeah, the threads and I had to <laughs> take this uh, bracket yeah for the valvetronic motor because on the new cover it was put it upside down yeah and uh, see that this is from the new cover and i 
had to put the original ones back maybe you can see in there yeah anyway it's done um, I think I put everything back together I'm going to uh, start the car before I put the plastic because I want to check if we have kind of some kind of leaks yeah we are going to leave the engine running and um, yeah check for leaks and after that we are going to make a drive test for sure battery installed now let's start the car yeah it might have some errors but it's no problem because we can uh, check everything after that with impa and we can erase if um, we have some errors from uh, this uh, job yeah okay let's see Perfect, no check engine line, engine light, nothing. We have some burn bulb and we have to set the, die, uh, the date and the time. Okay, let's see what we have on the engine side. Oh, I've missed that. Start to smoke a little bit, yeah, that's normal. We have to check for leaks everywhere. Yeah, it smokes because in there I cleaned the old, old burn oil, yeah. It, in there it was so much oil like in here yeah so I'm gonna give you an update soon so it's running for, for a while now um, the engine is warm we don't have any kind of leaks yeah everything is dry uh, we do have some smoke, yeah, just a little bit of smoke and it's coming from the cats. I'm not sure if you can see something. But we are going to drive the car a little bit and uh, we are going to be sure that is no leak. But I'm pretty sure there is no leak because I've done everything right, yeah. I just hope that this um, cheap cover it's going to hold but for now everything seems to be just fine we are on the road yeah and now you can see that we have 243,000 kilometers on the dash we have to set the date and the time but the car is running we don't have any kind of smoke in the car yeah we are going to drive home now we are going to check um, if we have any kind of leak but I don't think so and uh, we just have to wash the car and put it for sale to be honest I really missed the driving uh, E90 chassis yeah because I had like seven or eight of these type of cars and uh, yeah the steering wheel is way better on this chassis as for the F uh, series, yeah, for, uh, as for the 435 that I, I have now for, as a daily, which is right in there. Oh, check this out. A turn signal is it doesn't work, we have to check that. Okay, let's park the car, check for oil leak, and uh, yeah, after that, the turn signal, wash, and that's about it. Let's see. Let's see what we have in here. Yeah, no smoke, everything seems to be dry, yeah, and see the cell. Anyway, I'm going to put a light in there, I'm going to check and if, if everything is okay, we are going to put the rest of the plastic and we are good to go. Uh, let's check the turn signal, which one uh, doesn't work. The front is working so in the back yeah here oh 
Now it's working. Oh my god, that was an easy fix. Oh, it's not working again. Okay, I have to check what's in here and uh, we are done. No smoke, just uh, yeah, uh, vapors because it's we have two degrees outside. Nice, nice. This is a jackpot. Yeah, for sure, because I just have to wash the car and put it for sale. The engine sounds healthy, yeah. So yeah, let's put everything back, fix the turn signal and we are done. This is the next day for sure, yeah. I just came back from McDonald's, I bought something to eat. And the E92 is sold, yeah. In the weekend I've already sold that car. And because we sold that, we have already another one, yeah. Check this out. This is a Peugeot 206 uh, Coupe Cabrio or Coupe Cabrio. And in the next episode, we are going to see everything that's wrong with the car or if it's something wrong with the car. And to be honest, I'm not really sure what to do with this car. So anyway, drop a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what to do about this one. <coughs> Maybe we are going to uh, make a present for somebody, this car, yeah. I'm not really sure. So anyway, um, if you like this episode, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, as usual, thumbs down. Until next time, see you later.